Hey there, today I'm going to teach you the number one travel tip for renting a car at the airport that will help you skip the line. I took pictures inside the airport car rental line for you on my most recent trip three days ago. There is no way those passengers could have gotten through that line in less than an hour. This is a free program with Hertz Car Rental that I have had for over seven years and I finally thought, you know what? I need to tell passengers about this travel tip. I am a pilot wife YouTuber sharing tips to help you travel the globe without a worry in the world. Say hey if we have not met yet. It is a hack that lets you skip the line inside the airport. When you are ready to start your vacation, you do not want to stand in line in the rental car line. So Hertz Gold is this free program and here's how you get it. Two tips to remember before you start this process. Number one, it is free. The second tip to remember is that it's easier if you download the free Hertz app. And just so you know, they do not spam you on your app. You do not want to miss all of the little tips and tricks that I'm going to teach you throughout this video. I also just helped my 80 year old friend become a Hertz Gold member. So I have learned some things that might help it go more smoothly for you. So it is going to be an easy peasy lemon squeezy process for you. Step number one is to fill out all of the gold form and you will immediately begin receiving those benefits of skipping the airport rental car line. That will happen on your first car rental as well. Here is when you are going to see that form. When you open up the app, it will allow you to become a Hertz Gold member for free, or you can download the link into your browser on your iPad, laptop, desktop computer. I have it linked right above the t-shirts that I have for my channel. And in the first comment, I'm going to have the links and my other information for you. Remember you want to fill out your driver's license number and when we moved to Texas from Northern Virginia, I did not do that for over a year and every time it just takes a long time, which means you have to go to a person sometimes because you have not updated your driver's license number. And number two, when you can, be sure to put in your flight number. That is going to speed up the process so that they make sure that car is ready for you. One travel tip is if you do not know your flight number or your airline yet, you can hit modify later on. For example, I had forgot a few weeks ago going to Kansas City that I needed to put in my flight number and my airline. And a few days before, I just tapped modify and I could add that. Be sure that you're reading, like scroll down on the app. That's the easiest place for me because I do not trust my phone websites, like going to Chrome or Safari on my phone. And I do not travel with my laptop computer all of the time. So the easiest and fastest way to use your Hertz Gold is through that app. So I just scroll down and make sure you read the smaller letters. I tapped modify trip and I could add in my flight number and my airline. I also got an email asking what my flight number was. The second travel tip is to allow text messages. They will not text you at all before your flight until the day before or either two days before I think. So now you have signed up for Hertz Gold, you have allowed text messaging, and you have maybe booked your first car rental for that airport. You know this, but when you rent a car, make sure you have the correct pickup spot and drop off spot. You also want to make sure they have your current email or the one that you can get the fastest on your phone or personal device at home. That's where you can print off anything easily if that helps you feel safer, but having it in that app is fastest. The number one reason you want to give them your email is because that is where they offer promotional items. Like you're going to get a free day or with the next holiday, you're going to receive a 30% discount code if you book within a certain time frame. So those email, that email is important, but the flight number, flight at the airline and your driver's license, make sure those are on there when you are actually booking a rental. The next step is when you land at that airport, you will have a text message from the Hertz app saying, 
you can go straight to the gold parking lot and choose your car on row 756 or something like that. And you will only receive that if you have put in all of your correct information, okay? Before I go on to the next step, I want you to know that that travel hack for skipping the line is to have Hertz Gold, but I need to explain what you're going to see with that benefit as well. When you get off the airplane, you're going to search for ground transportation and then rental cars, okay? Depending on the size of the airport and the age of the airport, you might can walk to the rental car, area right across the street from your airport or like in Hawaii or Kansas City, you ride in a bus to the auto car rental area for that airport. And that way you can choose Thrifty, Hertz, uh, Alamo, something like that. And you are not going to go to that countertop. That is where all of the long lines of people waiting to get their airport rental car will be standing you had the right and now the benefit of skipping that line and going out to where the cars are parked, usually in a parking deck, and there is a gold board, and it is a gold member directory board. On it is going to be your last name and uh, the row of cars where you're going to find your automobile or that you can pick out your automobile for that rental. One thing that I have noticed in all of the many different airports is that sometimes the sign is not easily visible. So in the Nashville airport last weekend, the sign that said gold members, you can skip this line is so small that you may miss it. Just know that with gold member benefits, you do skip that line every single time. So look for that sign that tells you which way the parking deck of cars is going to be. In another airport, it was like a triangle uh, stand that was like three feet tall that said gold members and it had an arrow pointing that way. If you do not see that sign in the airport car rental line area, just know that you have that benefit. So find where the cars are and go there. Now, beside the gold member rental board that tells your last name and where your car area is, there is a gold counter. And that's a little bitty building with a Hertz employee inside it. So if there is a problem, and that says, please go to the gold counter to speak with a representative. Like maybe there might be a problem your first time renting a car at that airport as a gold member. Like you haven't put in some information you did not realize. That is the gold counter that you are going to go to. So skip the line inside the airport car rental area, go to the cars and find the gold board and the gold member counter. It just means the countertop where a Hertz employee is going to be sitting there to help serve you. Okay, I just wanted to give you that overview so that you know what you're going to see or that you might see. One travel update for the summer especially is to know that there, those airport rental car lines are going to be so long as well as during holiday time. So it is such a great benefit that's totally free, regardless of the amount of times you rent a car every year. If you know how to drive an electric car or want to rent one, Hertz has the largest EV fleet in North America. My brother has a Tesla. He's going to love knowing that. And he just got hired as an airline pilot. I'm so excited for him. One other beneficial travel tip for renting through Hertz Gold is to know that you do earn points, which will add up to a free car rental day or a buy one, get one or some promotion, like I said, then that means you need to have your email with them because they won't send you promotional things through the Hertz Gold app. One part of the process of renting an automobile from an airport rental company is to know that you have to show your license right before you drive off of that airport property. So after you've gotten in your car, you've checked around the edges to make sure there are no scratches or anything, you will then show the attendant as you're driving off the lot your ID. And they're going to ask you how much, how much mileage it is and then you just tell them and then you are free to go. Now, when you return your rental car, 
another benefit of having Hertz Gold is that you just get out, but don't forget to leave your keys. That happened to me in Breckenridge. I forgot to take my keys out of my purse and leave them in the car. So I almost got bus left. <laughs> you don't want to forget those cars, uh, car keys, but when you do deposit the car keys into the cup holder in your rental car, you just get your bags and go. You do not have to wait on the Hertz employee to come and check off and make sure your mileage is correct. I would take a picture of the mileage just in case, you never know, but I hope that helps. I'm going to have everything in the first comment for you or in the paragraph right above the t-shirts for my channel, remember? It's a start of a paragraph, so you just click on those first few words and it'll open up all of the information for you. If you have not traveled in a long time, I will list a travel update video up here and down below, like I told you before. Thanks for your time.